up I've got this feeling that I get to you <laughs> Welcome back to Life of Sky with Auntie Sky Supply This is now aka Pity Cash Pity money Pity Cash I can't believe this is actually the first time I'm sitting down with you guys to speak since I hit 10k It's actually it's actually been such a long time hey Like we're not even on 10k anymore We're like we're my 10.7 So welcome to the people, the new people that subscribe to my channel, now you guys are part of the flyest ones. Okay, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share my videos, guys. Let's do the whole spiel thing, you know what I mean? Um, I just figured I should sit down with you guys because it's been a very, very long time since we, me and you, have we had one on one. You get me? So, I'm back, I'm back to rant. You guys like it when I do these things, but yeah, it's been a while since I got a few things off of my chest so I'm going to be giving you guys some of my hot takes my opinions that absolutely no one asked for okay And bear in mind my opinions my channel. I'm entitled to it all. You don't have to sit through any of this The first things is that I feel like parents hate themselves I feel like parents hate themselves because and I feel like they hate everything about themselves because when I do greatness in life, it is you. You are definitely responsible for my greatness in life. But the moment I'm stubborn, the moment that I don't listen, I've somehow picked up those mannerisms up from the street. It's never you. It's always the street, but it's never you. So when I'm mama, when I papa, when you look at yourself in the mirror, you don't think you're stubborn. You don't think you, you can't listen to someone when they speak to you. I don't understand. You think I have an attitude problem? Don't you think you have an attitude problem? You know? So everything, I feel like... I feel like some people hate... Yeah, I feel like parents definitely hate themselves because... There's this one child that you don't like. You're always fighting with your child because they basically mirror everything that you do. Whatever you do to that child, they give it right back to you in the face. When you give your child an attitude, they give you an attitude back because they got that attitude thing from you. So, and then you're gonna hate your child because she has an attitude, but when in fact she inherited that attitude from you, so you basically hate yourself. I. Oh yeah, you must fix your attitude. Why don't you fix yours first? Another thing that actually has me so pressed. Um, I love to travel. I like to go places. I like to stay in lodges, hotels, safaris, resorts, the likes. You see this 2003 interior that you guys are pushing and those 2021 prices. Some of these hotels, some of these lodges are holding on to that five star that they gained in 2005 oh yeah we're like a five star lodge when did you get those five stars my g 2003 <clears throat> you know like i feel i don't know I, I might not i might not know but like isn't there some sort of way we can review like like the people that gain five stars can't we come back like every five years to see if the hotel is up to standard if it can still call itself a five star because you guys are like oh yeah four star five star hotel and you guys are chilling with that brown ass furniture the carpets in the room like no matter how nice the room is i'm always looking for if you guys actually pay attention eh? if you scroll through like airbnbs and like hotels they always put only two pictures of the bathroom because they know it's usually shaky like I feel like you guys you can even see from a reception if this place has been upgraded or not like and you guys will call yourself a five-star hotel five-star lodge Airbnb you're charging 2,500 per night but it doesn't even have all the amenities hmm nah let's let's stop with the bravery South African tourism, let's just stop with the bravery. You know you have not renovated since 2001. You cannot charge those prices. I feel like um, when people pass away, people tend to become weird. I don't know if I'm even articulating this properly, but like, I don't know. Personally, it's very cringe for me. When someone dies, I was just on the phone with you two minutes ago. Like, I don't understand like how to explain this guys I feel like when someone dies you definitely 
want to reminisce on the memories you had with that person and you genuinely are in shock because like you had just like spoken to the person or like it's very like surreal because you just were with them the other day but like when you come and you're posting like your whatsapp things oh my goodness he said have a nice day and i didn't know what he meant by have a nice day but maybe that was his sign he knew like bruv my homie was just saying have a nice day like it had nothing to do with extraterrestrial things like the fine line between like okay shop you're reminiscing and genuinely shocked and it's like ah uh, oh my goodness me and him used to share the same panty guys like you guys don't understand how close we were like <laughs> It usually but it usually be the ones that are closest to the person that don't be saying nothing at all not to say that they're better but i'm just saying like usually the people that are closest to the person like they don't be saying those things <laughs> i was just on the phone with you the other day you were telling me to push to carry on like you just didn't bra like and you find like i don't want to be graphic but like you find the person like passed away in a car accident you were just telling me to keep pushing like bra that wasn't a sign that he knew he was going like do you know what i mean i feel like sometimes those things they give off very i want to show you Hore, like i was the last one to speak to him when he departed when she departed from this earth i i was the last one to speak to them like and i don't know why that's a thing like <laughs> like okay you were the last one to speak to them after they passed away now what you're still not gonna be on the program though now personally as in say i cannot groove for like six hours like it has to it either one has to be like lit like that but under normal circumstantia i cannot groove for those long hours hey like i get very bored very easily i get very what i say put off but like i feel like my social battery just runs out in the middle like the other thing that gets me it's like two it's like half past one it's chasing two guys what's the next move where are we going yo personally as in say i do not like change locations like i feel like i do not like this thing of changing locations because i feel like nine times out of ten it doesn't bang like the actual place where we were grooving at like if for instance we were grooving at fontaine and you're like okay guys what's the move after this i'm telling you the other vibe that comes after that is not gonna beat like the vibe we had at phone or whatever or back hard. like it's just not gonna beat like that which is why i do not like Oh, like oh guys what's the next move because i feel like it just one it doesn't it doesn't bang like that and two i feel like i just be bored like 2 a.m you want to know what the next bra let's go home three let's go home and the other thing is that i just become quiet and people will come to you half past two what's up babe why are you so quiet dog it's two in the morning what what energy do you be expecting from me like what do you think this is wow like you're so quiet bruh it's four hey it's four like what is there to talk about at four in the morning and also like i don't even really know you like that like guys i feel like people that grew are so strange <laughs> wow you're so quiet like really are you okay dog i'm tired like time what's not clicking steven like what do you also what do you guys expect me to talk about at like two in the morning i'm that person at a certain time in the evening i just like to keep quiet like i think after 12 we just need to keep quiet all be on our phones like chilling you know i just like to keep quiet but now you're gonna come to me fetching me babe like what's the vibe bruh i'm i want to go home when you guys are forcing a vibe and we're just sitting here all on the couch surrounding a hubbly like nothing's popping like what is this you know like also people that also come in police like you drinking a lot of people do this so bruh you're still on that one glass okay but what's that gotta do with you Danka? like why are you so concerned with me like also you're clearly not enjoying yourself enough if you keep on checking for how far i'm coming with my beverage right i hate it so much when people do that like oh my gosh nah 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 nah, nah dog they hasn't been drinking they nah top it like dog I didn't ask for any of this like i remember there's a time i had someone added me to a promo group so everyone has to hey are you guys like available for promo so i take out a phone bro why are you on your phone i like guys i was so put off hey i literally just went like i just looked at them and i just i had no words because what what are what does that mean like any whatever answer i give you like what does that have anything to do with you i know this is very childish but people that call songs tracks 
Now, bruh, play that track. Track. <laughs> Song on Apple Music. I feel like a track is audio W zero underscore zero 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 J two underscore Y two thousand and nine. I feel like that is what a track is. Okay, people that eat chicken feet, why? What could possibly be the reason? The worst thing is that you guys even treat. I would even like to think for chicken feet are a delicacy. Like I feel like chicken feet. Now, if we're being honest, get starter because people will. You guys even force. You guys force to have chicken feet with pap and like yeah, bro. Tonight we cooked. You go into the kitchen as pap and chicken feet. Chicken feet, guys. Why do you even that thing? First of all, it doesn't even have any meat. It's really the palm, guys. Have you realized how creepy it is to eat like chicken feet when you really, when you just unlock that knowledge, when you open that third eye, like you realize that actually chicken feet. This thing is not right because one, it doesn't have it doesn't have meat. You're really chewing on the palm, the palm that has been roaming this earth. It has nails sticking out at you, like while you're still trying to reach for the paw, like the one nail just scratches your face. Eh, eh. like and. And the worst thing is that chicken feet don't even kurisha like you're not even gonna get full from that stuff so why do you even eat and the thing is you have to eat one by eight chicken feet for you to get full like what is that chicken feet are not right like that was just such a random take but i just needed to get it off my chest the older you get the more you realize that guys parents are liars hey like just par parents like to lie like yo i feel like parents they lie about anything like their upbringing they like parents ne? i feel like sometimes some parents have kids to make themselves feel better about themselves does that make any sense like like your 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 parent would would have been like an un, not like an underachiever shame i don't want to be snacks but like your parent would be an underachiever but if you are, are are even going below them being an underachiever they're going to boost themselves now does that make any sense like your your parent would be passing school with 60s you're getting through school with 50s you see me back in my day like ah uh ah -uh, you're just using this to boost yourself i used to go to school walking in the desert from northern cape to cape town walking sahara walking kalahari fighting lion i was just ripping guys why you don't i don't even know why you can't even cut this onion i used to eat an onion raw me like bruh you can just say this is just lies bruh this is pure cap cap like snap back yeah ymcmb dog you even toasted it to the side you are capping back in your day i was top of my class okay where are the certificates where are the certificates where are the pictures where are the receipts like i feel like some parents will just make these things up to put pressure on you you see i used to be top of the class so there's no reason why when now you can't get through school okay but if you were so top of the class where are the certificates where are the pictures where are the accolades there's just there's a disconnect something doesn't make any sense and if you are so top of your class if you're really like excelling like that like then why are you working the job that you work you know one thing that just gets me is being a man like i know men are like horrible and like i hate them if you know me you know very well that i hate men but like isn't it crazy like being a man is so like as much as i hate men they don't deserve anything i know i could never be a man because one minute you're playing soccer with your friends outside it's a great afternoon Four, five, six. Then there's a sound outside, and you just have to sukuma and go outside and see what's happening in the yard. Like, where do parents think like their children are just supposed to get this courage? Like, I just I was thinking about it. Like, bro, like there was one minute where my brother was just playing and being a youth. Then four, five, six, the alarm goes off. It's like, bro, go see what's happening outside, bro. Like he's never had to do this in his life, bro. Like. Why would you just put him like throw him to the wolves like what happens now? You go outside and there actually is someone in the yard trying to break in like now what must like your brother do in that instance guys? Being a man is <laughs> The alarm goes off the, the family is looking to you <laughs> The alarm goes off the whole family you are carrying your family on your shoulders now Like 
these boys don't be saying no. It'll be like, oh my gosh, we heard a sound outside. Yo, and say go outside. Lena and say she stands up, she goes to check. You don't even look at your mom twice like nah, I know very well shake. If I was a guy, my parents are like, oh good, go check. What's the sound outside? I'll be like, so ze booty. No ways, bruh. <laughs> Guys. Like we pillow keep hindi rera ya sha sha hey because why would you just why would you just throw me also like i feel like you don't love me as a parent like why would you just throw me to the wolves like that like you're walking with your hand these niggas come out protect let you fold now you must just be a god of honor defend your girl like guys it's very it's very weird this dynamic of being a guy a shout out shout out to all the men out there in daughter must protect Indoda must carry the family on his back. Indoda must give a girl money. Indoda must betcha. Indoda must be Indoda. You know? Indoda must be calm. Did you hear that? Calm. Indoda must be serious. Must not be smiler smiling. Indoda must have presence. When you just walk into the room, you don't say nothing but that. <gasps> Indoda must be mysterious. Indoda must not be accessible. Indoda must just pay for everything. Look at me, just demanding and demanding and demanding. Love that. Love it. Indoda must worship the ground that I walk on. But why do people that come from big cities think they're better than not like better, but like you know what I mean? I feel like you can sense when someone has that thing that thing of being better from job like you go like you say especially now especially now people are going home oh no i come from joburg i stay in joburg really you're from polokwane like but joburg where though you 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 stay in a back room like really oh my gosh like wow you guys stay here oh my gosh like there's literally no service here wow like how do you guys live like this dog do you even have an address where you stay the way you stay is there a house number dog can uber even pick you up from where you stay is the question like i don't like when people think like they're better like oh my gosh like what do you guys even do there oh my gosh i could never stay there dog your house where you stay is the size of our garage at home make it make sense why 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 do you be doing that because you know you're not even living that escom life you know i've met people that like you can kind of sense in like their demeanor or how they there's no house number where you stay why would you just have those takes and there's you know the thing guys you know the worst thing there's really nothing wrong with living like that that's the thing there's really nothing wrong with living like that but you know what is wrong thinking that you're better than other people for staying in other places simply because you stay in cape town you stay in joburg and you don't even bro you know you don't stay in cape town you stay outside you stay in delft okay you stay in mitchell's plane like udula ko haman skral udula haman skral you know like some people you guys even be land grabbing and then you guys want to act like you're better than people that come from other places i it goes bad guys i don't like people that be acting like they're better you know let's just stop that like and i was really having a conversation about this with my friends like dude why do because me and my me and my friends we come from Lumpopo, so i was like why do why do people do that why do people do that also people that like talk about working in silence moving in silence oh yeah guys i'm just yeah let me just go back to working in silence bro straight moves no announcements okay but now we know that you're doing straight moves no announcements like just what like also why don't you move in silence in silence like you don't have to let us know that you're moving in silence because then would it really be in silence like even when you're like i'm moving in silence even now we now know that from here going forward you will be moving in silence you know also guys working in silence doesn't mean that you're gonna succeed hey like um you can work in silence it doesn't mean that you're going to be successful in life even even being hopeful even being hopeful doesn't mean that better days are coming like sometimes you're not even learning anything sometimes it's not growth sometimes god is not trying to show you anything sometimes you're just suffering some sometimes in life you're just 
it's just there's no lesson there's no growth it's pure suffering though. and you know the thing about life is you're not even guaranteed that you're gonna stop suffering I don't even want to be that negative person but like some things are just are just the truth guys like we just like I think li life is basically about faith and hope because you just have to hope that better days are coming even when they are not sometimes hey not to say that there's no big guys like better days are genuinely coming hey like please don't also get interested like better days are really coming but like are they really though because since you've been born has there been a better day I actually act like I'm dropping some other hot knowledge we also can't give up because just because you give up in life or you give up and you don't try anymore it doesn't mean that life is gonna stop giving you hands life is still gonna fight you even if you give up that's why you just gotta keep on fighting friends that downplay your success they don't like just anything really it'll be like me and my friend go somewhere and then we bump into someone Oh, and say I like your weave. Your friend enters there, unprovoked, non the Oh my gosh, it's so old that time. Why? Why? Like, no one needed to know that. Oh my gosh, I really like your shirt. Yo, that time it's even mine. Hey, like she's always borrowing my things. Why? Why? Literally, I'm wearing this thing, and it even looks better on me than it does on you. But like, why though? I don't like when friends do that. Like I've seen it before where I stand with people that are like friends or they're cool. I'm like, hey girl, I like your whatever, whatever. And then the friend just enters. Oh my gosh, don't say that. She's so wara wara wara. Okay. Like what was that about? Like why? Oh yeah, and say, oh yeah, 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 yeah. She just ah bruh, she just hit 10k dog. Like it's whatever. Ah uh ah, -uh, it's not whatever. This thing is not whatever. We're gonna sit here, we're gonna talk about it the whole day. We're gonna be happy. We're gonna celebrate until next year like people don't want to just downplay or they want to dive like when they see too much attention coming towards you they want to dive in another direction even if it's not in their direction but we must rather talk about something else when it's like oh my gosh you and say so funny you and say this and say that and it's like oh yeah guys yo that reminds me the other day when we like ah, eh, don't don't change the subject parents that use me as an example Yo, you guys tell me a lot, especially the video that I made ranting about parents. I, I, I was getting so many messages. Oh my gosh, I showed this to my mom. My mom's like, yeah, you're such a bad example. You see, that girl walk on YouTube, there's someone's parent currently using me as a bad example. I feel like I wish parents would just parent their kid or parent their kids and stop, stop putting that responsibility on other people, hey? Like, you are pointing at different celebrities, different public figures, but you're not doing your own job as the mother, as the father. You see, you you watch this. This is the channel you're subscribed to. Hmm? Hey, like, bruv. I will subscribe to whatever channel since you want other people to raise me. I will consume what I consume since you're not raising me. I might as well just let someone else do it. Like, I wish... I wish parents knew accountability those are all my takes that is my little rant um please let me know what your guys' hot takes are and i'll see you in the next video bye